Hi guys and welcome back to another LucaVision video and you guys know what's coming. This is the best day of the week for me. It's a Tuesday which means it's a Euro Battle Tuesday. Yes, Euro Battle Tuesday where we pick two countries off against each other to find out who the LucaVision country of the decade is. And we're almost halfway through round two. It's getting so exciting now. I geek out every Tuesday when I see these songs from these countries. Some of them just bring back so many great memories and other ones really haven't aged well. And I've even found that throughout this competition, I could listen to one in round one and be like, yeah, this is really good. And then as we get to round two, I'm a bit like, Okay, I've heard this enough now. Like, it's so strange the effect that it has on you. And as I've discussed before, Blue Jedward, UK Ireland, like, it could have gone either way for me. It depends what mood I'm in. That's how flippant it is, people. But that's the beauty of Eurovision. All music is subjective. Don't hate me for my tastes. I won't hate you for your tastes. If you like dipping chips into peanut butter, be my guest. I will not partake. Anyway, guys, in today's video, we're having a little look at Austria versus Belarus, Ooh. two really decent countries and two of my faves, I must admit. Before doing this competition, Belarus actually weren't really on my radar. I kind of thought, yeah, Belarus the flop. But they're really not. I've sat back and had a look at their entrance through round one and I've thought, well, Luke, you were wrong. So that makes me even more eager to see how this is going to play out because I love Austria year in, year out. They're just fantastic, in my opinion, anyway. And now I've got this whole new found love for Belarus, so I can't wait to see how they crash and who's gonna come out on top. But guys, let me know who you think is gonna win this battle before watching the rest of the video and see if this video changes your mind. Anyway, enough chat, let's react. And what do we think of the jacket? I thought I'd dress up for you guys today. I'm fed up of just doing this in vests. We're getting into autumn now. Let's dress for autumn. And the best bit is, matching socks, hey. Sorry about that. Anyway, let's go. Right, so Belarus is discounted in 2010. Thank God, butterflies. <laughs> okay, I know I've just typed up Austria, but this one is not for me. Her vibrato sounds like she's drowning a little bit. I love how dramatic it is. Lots of passion, but a bit much. This was me after round one. I love Belarus, literally. <laughs> so much drama. Belarus. I love Belarus. <laughs> Poo -poo. <laughs> what a strange song. I love it though, not gonna lie. <laughs> my jam. This is like a guilty pleasure. This is my trash song. But, can it compare? This is a pleasant little tune. And, sh shocker, Austria! Yes, I love that song! <laughs> this is okay. Doesn't really go anywhere for me. Soleo though! We play her! Look at her, Disco Diva. She looks like she's just come off of the set of Strictly Come Dancing or Dancing with the Stars. That was fantastic. One of my faves. Belarus, you got it. Rise like a phoenix. Iconic. I know this hasn't aged very well for some people, but this is still up there for me. One of the top winners. Just all the diversity. Fantastic. Cheesecake. You know I love a novelty. You know I love some cheese. You know I love a bit of tack. You know I love a bit of tat. Not today. Conchita for Austria, you got the point. I love this song. There's so much grit in his voice. And there's rasp and there's passion, like a depth to it. Time though. This was so different. Oh, that voice. 
giving it to Belarus. Love it, absolutely love that song. It just had a bit more of an energy. She's so sweet. She reminds me of um, Eurovision Chloe. Oh, here's Ivan. He could not be any more off-white if he tried. What is that colour he is wearing? Nah, Austria. Not just for the fashion, but the song is just a bit jaunty. Push me down, I'll get up again. If you let me drown, I'll swim like a champion. You know how much I love this song. Robbed. Zero points from Televotes. Nah, mate. What are you doing? I obviously wasn't voting that year. <laughs> Sorry, this is an epic song from Belarus. I think this is a really good song, but... You can't beat my bay, Nathan Trent. Come on. Sorry, don't hate me. It's guilty pleasure alert, Austria. Then we have Caesar Sampson. Ain't nobody but you. I love this song. I love a bit of soul, a bit of passion from the depths of your bowels. <laughs> Fun fact, I hated this song from Alex Eva first. Really didn't like it. I thought it was whiny. I thought it was really, like, draining. And bah! But now I love it. That is such a good song. It's really grown on me, but I'm sorry. It's still going to Austria. <laughs> and then Austria seemed to ruin their run with limits. I love Panda. She is a lovely woman. She's so sweet, so nice, so likeable. Her voice is so unique, but this song is just very lacklustre. Come on! Here's the trash that I'm talking about. Yes, I'm gonna like it. Luke gonna like it. Luke, yes, he likes it. I like it. Uh, come on, Xena has got the point. Yes, Belarus. Alive again. All I need is a little spark. Yes! Michael Jackson of our generation. Why did he not take off? I love him. I want to be him, hence the jacket. David Nurse! Oh! I love this as well! Oh, that was so stylistic. The aesthetics were on point, so vibrant. I love the whole style, the themes. Oh! And whoever David is, his ears must be burning. But based on that reaction, folks, it would be a crime not to give that to Austria. <laughs> I am actually exhausted. My emotions were just going way like a proper roller coaster. But guys, you were keeping up with the scores. I can reveal that my winners are Austria six, Belarus five. Here's how it went in my head. Belarus came in with a bang. <laughs> And then we had Austria, but it kept in at a consistent and a steady level. And then Belarus started to dip a little bit more, and Austria was still going at a consistent level. Then Belarus were boom, with final entrance at the end, but no, Austria was still going consistently, and they still beat them. Soz Belarus. That just happened. That was me as a running commentator. Hashtag LucaVision for Rotterdam. But what actually started to surprise me was that I actually really, really liked I Love Belarus. I don't know what came a hold of me. Fantastic song now. I love it. I'm a Belarus stan, even though they lost this Euro battle. And what was that love for? Waki medium pupu. That it just took a hold of me. I feel like that has actually aged very, very well. And I think that could be in the charts nowadays. That was actually epic. I loved listening to that again. I seem to change my mind more than my underwear. <laughs> Anyway guys, that's just my opinion. I really want to know who won this for you and who goes through to round three for you. Let me know all of your thoughts and all of your opinions down below. And before you go anywhere, don't you forget to hit that like button to show me that you love Euro Battle Tuesdays just as much as I do. It's my favourite day of the week. And before you guys go anywhere, don't you forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button. That way you can keep up with all of the videos I've got running on this channel, all of the series. Anyway, that's all for me, guys. All that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Goodbye. Together, forever. Da -da -da.